Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here with all the districts where we are in another drought. And last episode we had flooding everywhere, uh, which has caused this to flood, which is interesting. But it will dry out because it's sealed, so that's fine. I could break one of these, let it go. But, but um, more importantly, our wheels are thinning, which means the engines are connected. But something interesting is happening that I wasn't aware of. Now, I haven't used engines in a long time because they were very underpowered. Now, however, they have been changed quite a while ago, actually, to be way, way better now. Uh, they used to uh, burn through stupid amounts of wood, uh, but they don't know. Now, now it's uh, much slower. They, burnt, they used 0.2 wood an hour instead of one wood an hour, so it's way, way better. However, they also used to just run permanent. They'd never stop running, which was a, a bit of a waste of wood. You know, they'd do it all the time. But these, if I unpause the game, and what I say, aren't doing anything. They're not running at all. And I think it's because there's no demand. Because these power wheels are not connected to this shaft um, in any way. So there's no power going to them. So they're not running. So I'm wondering whether these are smart now, whether they will lower their output when the wheels kick in, which would be absolutely fantastic if they do. But we don't know, so we'll have to find out. We will have to find out. So what we need to do is we need to connect this to the thing below, like this. And we need to disconnect this part here. And we need to do this. So I'm going to pause the game. We're going to put in uh, these two. One, uh, unpause the game. Two. We're then going to put in the uh, platform at the top. We're going to put in the road going up and over it. And there we go. Uh, I think that'll be fine. Not sure if we want to go wider than that with this. Oh, actually, no, we might have some more wheels on this one. I don't know. I don't know. But that will connect these wheels and, in turn, these engines all together onto this power shaft, and at least the water will get power. We then can do something to the other end as well to try and get a bit of oomph going. Um, but I'm not sure what to do this end. This is the problem. We need to figure out what I'm going to be doing this end and how we're going to be doing it, because we need the power lines to be connected to this top area. But we also need the path underneath here to remain intact. So I think the best bet's going to be actually to just put in a gear, uh, a, run, a riser here, and replace this with a. Just delete that and that, and then put in a power connector there, like so. Yeah, because I didn't realise there was a space. Oh no, 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 no. There is a space here. There was dams here. If you remember, there were dams here previously, and I've removed them uh, because this was all flooding and was causing all sorts of issues there. So I removed them to try and get the flooding go out. It didn't work. I think when we blew up the water here, it caused a knockback, which was a bit of a problem. Uh, so that's been a little bit of an issue. It's not so bad now, the water dropping by one level. I don't think it's affecting anything. I don't think anything's dried out anywhere. No, it seems okay. Um, so, so I think we might just leave it. We might leave it without having the dams there. Because uh, all the dams we're doing were keeping the water level higher. And the water level was higher because we were pumping out of it at one point. But we're not now. We're now pumping out of the main lake. So, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so these are running. These are producing... Um, 800, and we're currently only using 150. Which is because these three here are 150. However, this will get built here. Possibly. Now... I'm going to turn up this here and try and get many cog heads to build this if possible. Uh, well, it's built. Awesome. There you go. Right, now to that again. Uh, I have also in some places um, uh, this, yeah, this, and I think the food ones as well uh, are set to beavers, although there's no beavers working here right now because uh, if water runs out, we're screwed. Um, and food runs out, we're screwed, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now we're connected. Our demand is 3,380, and we only have 800, which is bad. Which is which is bad. We know it's bad. But it does mean that some places are getting power. 
so our golems can recharge albeit extremely slowly but they can recharge we are there awesome how are we for explosives we have 55 which is not enough which is not enough but we kind of need to go all in with this I was going to do it like two and then build it and then two and build it and two and build it but I, I feel like I need to like just do the whole lot um, we're not going to do it before the, the water gets before the drought finishes but we, we need to do it we need to go all in which is really going to hurt us to start with but I kind of need to just do it let's, um, let's just go for it so we're going to remove that top line there yes we're going to remove no we're not going to remove that that's going to come apart okay we don't want to remove that Okay, we can remove these. But no, no. And then what we want to do is we want to... We need a path down into here to blow this up. Because we can't get to this... Oh, it's okay. It's the camp because they can come along the top here. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. So we run a path up here. All I need to do is get a path. Ah, see that this this is the part that yeah this is the part that was getting me. So this isn't going to work for us. This isn't actually going to work for us because we're going to have a power wheel in here like this. Um, but we can't build on top of this to get across. So this actually needs to be further down. I think I need to get rid of these three breeding pots. That's what I need to do. So we're going to get rid of those three beam pods. I'm going to destroy this. We're just going to cut out our power network. But that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we're going to run... I still want a path to come along here. Ah, maybe, maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this. We'll just get rid of these two. We get rid of these paths here. We want to cut back on our breeding pods anyway, because we're gonna um, have less. Uh, could we using golems? So we're gonna be using less less beavers. Yeah, that's fine. So we want to put in one of those, uh, one of those, one of those, and one of those like that. There we go. Okay, and then we want to put in this. To there, to there. Um, no, I don't want to put the dance back in. No, we don't want the dance back in. It's fine. We don't need the dam. To, to you know, down the dams. Bom, 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 bom. There we go. Okay, so that connects all that back up together beautifully. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to put in a path, uh, sort of here. here. Well, not, well, yeah, a, a path, but also just like that. And we're going to explodify here and here. I'm going to leave this as a ridge here so all the water doesn't just pour straight out, although it would stop here anyway because there's a ridge here as well. But um, yeah, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna leave a ridge there. So there's like two pools. There's two pools. Okay. Okay, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Now, you're obviously going to be able to charge these golems up for water here, which is not a problem. Um, I am impressed that this has got so many spare beavers. I'm, I'm very confused by that. Could have sworn. Eight vacancies for beavers. Hmm. Ah, it could be the uh, the pumps. Some of the pumps are empty now. That's probably what's happened here. Uh, so this can go back to being cog heads because they can charge now, which is which is fine, and beautiful, and fantastic. And uh, we can also start building other things here as well, and getting other things done like more more uh, engines and more 
other bits and pieces. So let's let's plan this. So we want to put an engine uh, there, an engine there, an engine there, an engine there, an engine there. And I want to pause all these for the moment. We don't want to actually build them just yet. We want to make sure the uh, the explosives get put in first before anything. I don't actually need to build that. Then. I don't. I don't know why I did that. We don't need to build that. I don't know why. Um, I did just say we don't need to do that because they can get access to it from this top line. So I don't quite know what my brain was thinking there. We don't need to do that. I, I was gonna um, path that in there, but they can get access to this because they can come along here. So this is this is fine. Um, I kind of want to make sure this is all priority in here. So kind of make sure you build that first, okay? And then um, we'll put in the explosives, and then we'll put in more explosives. By doing this, and then doing that. There we go. Okay, but that's going to be a little while. That's going to be a long while. In fact, we don't have enough explosives. I should have waited for the explosives. E, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 50 we can do a little bit maybe we'll do one side maybe we'll do one side very very low we'll do that so there'd be one side and then we can build more in here this is all going to be we're going to go back to beaver we're going to go back to beaver working for a while i think possibly um turn up the cog heads in here uh, we may switch this back to being beavers for a brief while whilst our cog heads are all underpowered and not working properly but yeah, um, although once the uh, water comes back, very soon, uh, these boys will kick in, which will give us more power again, which is, which is fantastic. Um, see right now we're 4,300 demand. Um, I can't think what I could shut down. I mean, we could shut down this over here. We don't need any planks and things. We could turn that shut off. I want power switches. Power switches would be nice. I could put a switch in here and just toggle it on and off. That would be very nice to have. Just a straight power shaft with a switch on it that you can just manually turn on and off. Because um, you can't pause these, can't pause these at all. So I can't just say, "Hey, stop." Um, so that would be nice. That would be very nice. But anyway, I think I think we shall we shall do this here. We shall come back in a moment. Well, a moment for you, but a while for me when all the explosives are ready to be exploded. I suppose that's the best way to, to, to put it. Uh, I'm going to up the priority of these. And then we're going to unpause these so they build them as well. Okay. And then other the, this district can get in on it as well. Although I don't think you've got any... Have you guys got some cog heads going? Got no power going here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll see. We'll see what goes. Okay, so explosives are going down. It's fine. Let's let's uh let's 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 wait. Let's wait for the explosive. Okay, we are back. The wheels are spinning, the water is flowing, and the explosives are ready to explode. So let's do it. Boom! And away they go. Hopefully that little uh, break, um, not break, what's the word, yeah, water break there will stop the, uh, the backflow, so everything will be awesome there. Uh, we are we are building engines, which is fantastic, they are, they are running, they are doing their thing, it's awesome. Uh, these are doing okay, um, these are currently running at, they're, uh, they're dropping and raising and dropping and raising, which makes sense because of the way the, way the water's flowing. Um, obviously it's gonna it's gotta balance out inside here. There is another it actually, it's actually deeper here than it is here. We should have probably dug this out. Make it channel faster. Mm, we can do that later. Uh, we don't have the explosives for it now, so we'll definitely do it later. But we do want to put in some more water wheel. So let's do that. Uh, one there. One there. One there. And one there. There we are. Okay. And they can come build that. Uh, much more priorities, so that's still low. So we'll build those first. Uh, we don't have any explosives to do this. We've got 21, which is not enough to do that. So we'll um, we'll wait. 
we'll wait for that. So let's let's do that. Let's do they don't matter. So that can run and do its thing. Uh, this is drying out very slowly, but that's fine. We don't need the metal yet. We're still running on scrap. Uh, but we don't have any beavers working in there. Uh, why do not have any beavers working in here? Four beavers there. Ah, yes, I think the population has taken a real serious dip. Yes, yes, obviously we did because we had, we stopped these for a while. And then we went through a whole cycle where basically everything was flooded and none of the breeding pods were working. Um, and we had all sorts of issues. None of these uh, distribution posts were working. So, um, yeah, we had problems. We had problems. But we are, we are getting there. So these are building up again. It's good. It's very good. Uh, I should really tell you to uh, build the wheels first. If you'd be so kind. Because the wheels are kind of needed to connect the engines. So, yeah, do that. <laughs> Drop those down there. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we'll try and get some power going there. Everything else I think is good right now. Uh, a couple of golems without power. That's just normal at the moment, I think. Um, we've got loads of food because we don't have any beavers. Uh, uh, yeah, I think everything everything is good. I think everything is good. We just need to wait for this to get built so we can get our power system running again, which might be a lot quicker than I expected, actually. Um, especially considering this can get uh, the planks and things from at least two different places, from the farms and from District 1. So, for that point, I uh, might want to send more to District 1 at the moment. I might want to up its uh, storage of planks. Uh, although, although, this is full and it's not been emptied because I don't think we have any golems in there. But let's change this to beavers. And then maybe they can prioritise taking the stuff out of this building to empty it so we can get more things in. I mean, it's only 10 planks in there, but... Mm, yeah, I think, I think I am going to up plank storage for a moment. We're going to up it to 100. Just to get them sending more, because obviously they, they, they send 10, and this gets 10. And then the next day they send another 10, and then another 10, and another 10. It's going to take ages. It's going to take ages. It's, it's not every day yet, but it's more than once a day, so... But then, um, yeah. yeah. You've got cockheads. You've got no cockheads. You've got cockheads. You've got no cockheads. Cockheads are not being built at the rate I wanted. I expected this to be doing 150. It seems to be doing about 70, 80. And it may be just because of power. It may literally just because when the drought comes, we just don't have the power for them. So, for. I know, I know wet seasons are longer than dry seasons, so we're dropping at least a little bit. But when the power dies, it has like a knock-on effect, because not only does this all stop, the golems run out of power. So then by the time it starts again, the golems have to start single file. Um, well, not single file, but they have, to, they have to charge up and then get going again. And then obviously distribution drops down as well, because that's been sent around by beat. So it, it's a big knock-on effect. So getting the power sorted is definitely going to help us that's uh, going to be a huge thing and then this is our more permanent area for power which would be awesome so we can get this done and dusted and working and everything will be awesome but it's going to take a little while it's going to take a little while so i'm going to let it go and um everything seems good i'm going to leave all the breeding pods running so we fill up on beavers again i might go around and have a look at some of the distribution areas uh, not the, the uh the beaver migration and have a look see who, what, when, where and how and just double check and recheck things and make sure that there's enough golems going places and enough beavers going places. We may also have to expand our golem situation but that's fine if we do because we'll copy this over here. Simple as that. Um, I don't know why we've got a camp for over here. We do not need it. Uh, don't know why we've got water. We don't, well, we did. We did need it to start with but we don't know. But I might just copy this and paste it there um, with the exception of the barn. Uh, I might not bother with the barn. Uh, yeah. But then this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. What did I... Oh, planks are up by it. Yeah. Um, having the food and things stored here isn't a terrible thing. Food and water, I think. Because if everything goes really badly, like really, really badly, we have, you know, 
like, oh, everything's dying, everything's going really wrong, I noticed the speed was dropping down quickly, which I probably won't do, to be honest with you, I probably won't notice the speed was dropping down dramatically, because it'll be more a case of, oh, um, we've, uh, um, I'll come back and everyone will be dead. But we have food and things stored in places, um, dotted around that aren't needed, like here, the food's never going to be in the water, it's never going to get drunk, so we know we have a storage of it there, and 300 water is enough to get some breeding pods going, so we have a recovery. We have a recovery system working fine. I could even put a breeding pod over here and pause it, but then we'd have to send berries as well. We could send berries here. We could do that. We could send some berries here as well. I think we're fine. I think we're fine for berries. We've got storage. We got ev everything I think is good. It's just going to take a little while to do it. And if everything goes terribly wrong and all our beavers do die, we have golems. Golems can come. They can pick some berries. They can kick start the process. Everything will be fine. So long as we get the power going, which... Well, we have enough power now. We have enough power to at least run these three, which means we're safe. Hurrah! Famous last words, I know. But anyway, we'll leave this here. We shall come back next time when the power is done. I shall let the power be done. I shall let this side explodify here and we'll, we'll get this all built. This is our next project. We'll get this all built and we'll be ready to go. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun.